My name is Stephanie Gondula. I am a maritime archaeologist based in Alpena, Michigan at Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary. The National Marine Sanctuary system works to protect the special places in America's waters. We here at Thunder Bay specifically work to protect the Great Lakes and their rich history. So our primary work in the sanctuary deals with shipwreck sites where we document and manage them. Uh, and one of the main objectives there is to facilitate public access and we're here in the Great Lakes Maritime Heritage Center which is our public exhibits, office space, kind of like a combination museum and office, dive locker, working area, all in one. We have several shipwreck models and lots of historical information regarding shipwrecks and our primary focus are archaeological sites in the bottom of the lake. We have uh, everything ranging from sailing vessels to steam powered vessels, uh, wooden ships, metal ships, things that were uh, hundreds of years old, things that wrecked as recently as the 1960s. So it's a broad range of uh, shipwreck sites representing activity in the uh, heartland of America here for hundreds of years. So it's a nationally significant collection of shipwrecks and it is quite literally right in our backyard. One of the, the truly special things about Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary is the diversity of sites. I mean, of course, we've got lots and lots of shipwrecks. That's what we're known for. But these shipwrecks really vary from shipwrecks that are on the beach to, you know, eight feet deep, so great paddle and snorkel sites, down to 300 foot plus depth ranges. So we're a, we're a pretty small dive team here. We're four divers, and when we need to do projects, we depend heavily on collaborators, whether it's divers from other National Marine Sanctuaries, uh, reciprocity diving partners, in this case, uh, the divers from Project Baseline, we always sort of depend on the help of divers who can uh, augment our mission and help us with our underwater work to accomplish the things that we want to accomplish. We've come up here to the northeastern Michigan, to the shores of Lake Huron, to work with the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA's Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary. Our goal is to establish a partnership between uh, GUE Project Baseline and the Thunder Bay uh, Sanctuary to regularly document shipwrecks in Lake Huron. What Project Baseline allows us to do with the video imagery we took is to pretty much transect that same area at some point in the future. We take the time to make sure that we not only enjoy the underwater environment, but we look at it, we document it with video and images, notes and what have you, so that we can establish that baseline and we can be able to tell our kids and their kids what that was like before or what it could have been if we would have maybe gotten more involved environmentally. For me as a archaeologist and a historian, the experience of actually diving on these shipwrecks is it, it never, I never tire of it. I know these shipwreck sites are, are really a window into the past and they really have the power to connect us to the past. And they connect us to the stories that we might not really read about in history books. And these shipwrecks tell us the stories of the, the, the daily lives of, of people like myself and people who lived and worked hard on the Great Lakes. So the presence of the marine sanctuary here in Northwest Michigan has, has really helped the, the dive industry in the area. Um, there's, there's lots of resources for folks who come from all over the world to just dive for shipwrecks. However, there's lots of opportunities as well for people to become even more involved. These skilled divers to come in and, and help our small dive team at the sanctuary document these wrecks. And not just document them, but you know, actually go out and search for and survey the sanctuary waters for additional wrecks. Just the ability to, to get in and swim around and kind of get a sense of what it was like for you know, people to be relying on these ships going back and forth through good weather, bad weather, back in the days when there was so much shipping traffic going on in the Great Lakes. It's really something uh, hard to explain, that the, the tangible feeling you get when you personally go in and touch these things. And, and see them and experience them for yourself. And it's much more in-depth than you can get from reading a book or looking at it on a monitor. 